Here's a clip from Tara Buster with Tara Devlin. The establishment is projecting uh, a bunch of young, out of control white men. This is what their the the whole Bernie bro meme is, and we've been over this before because it started with Obama. They, these same attacks were used against Obama as. Um, they called them, first they were called Obama's boys, Obama boys, which is completely degrading and racist, if you ask me. And then it morphed into ba Obama bros. And now we're into Bernie bros. And But it's the entire establishment has adopted it. And it's now the Democratic establishment has adopted it. It's bad enough. We have to put up with it on the corporate media. But it's coming from so-called Democratic candidates and, and with Bloomberg. It started with Bloomberg. It didn't start with Bloomberg. But they've been attacking Bernie supporters. And I find it offensive, frankly. We're the ones being attacked. I want you to see. This is what I've been saying. Okay. Let me, let's just begin before I go off the rails here. So... Let's start with with Bloomberg's ad. I'm going to play the Morning Joe clip that I had to wake up to this morning uh, that set me off with a giant knot in my stomach. So let's play this and then we can, we'll talk about it. Bloomberg is also taking on Sanders for the online behavior of his supporters. Morning Joe has this first look at a brand new... And Michael Bloomberg is also taking on Sanders for the online behavior Sorry, of his supporters. Button. Morning Joe has this first look at a brand new digital ad from the Bloomberg campaign. The scary music. Look, you're making a huge mistake. Vote Bernie or bad things will have. These are the so-called abusive tweets going out so for some... Um, for people's supporters, but it's not abusive to constantly be attacked and vilified. But here we go. I'll In read some. Oh wait, hold on. Sorry, I didn't. Pull, I fucking keep hitting the wrong buttons. Sorry, guys. Here's the ad, and it's for those listening on the podcast. It's just a bunch of Bernie so-called Bernie tweets. This is, I suppose, Bloomberg bringing the receipts. Oh, it's so horrible, the bad behavior online. If you ever challenge what they're saying, what they're saying, it's not horrible that the United States is the least upwardly mobile of all our Western partners, right? It's not, that's not offensive. But the billionaire who is buying the election like he bought the the mayoral um, position at the city in the city of New York for three terms, buying spending seventy eight dollars a vote to do so as the Republican mayor, the Republican mayor of New York. That's who Bloomberg is. But uh, every day online, I have to be attacked. Me, we, we, we. Not a, what is it? Us, not us, not me, or whatever. I don't know. It's a, we're attacked by these baseless claims. Somebody sent Elizabeth Warren a, a snake emoji. Oh, my God. If you can't handle snake emojis, then you need to get the F out of the race, frankly. Wait till Donald Trump gets a hold of you. If you're this triggered by snake emojis, give me a break with this shit. This country is is being bought by a billionaire and where we have to behave we have to be nice little girls and boys and what they're actually telling us is shut the f up don't complain go along with the wine cave the bribes in the wine cave don't worry about it because you'll have maybe there'll be a subsidy coming no matter what we all need to unite we keep hearing this, how we unite, but they didn't never unite with us. The only candidate actually building a people-funded campaign that Joe Biden and uh, Michael Bloomberg can't buy and Pleep Buttigieg could only dream of in the wine cave. 
but we have to be uh, vilified. Oh, nobody likes Bernie. Like me. I'm a nobody. I guess another nobody for Bernie. What is this? What does this do to the Democratic, st- to the chances of winning the presidency? The w- horrible, the worst thing you can do is attack your supporters. Your These Democratic establishment shills, they... It really doesn't matter whether Trump wins or lose if to them because they will still have health care. They'll still be rich living in the ivory tower. They'll be able to retire. But we out here, we can, we're not supposed to have nice things. We are. We need to be put in our place. Don't do, um, don't, you know, don't send a snake emoji. Heaven forbid. So now you have to die and go on GoFundMe for medical care. Give me a effing break with this. I'm so pissed off by the entire day. And why can't I? I can't even get through 20 seconds of this goddamn ad. Terra Buster is recorded live every Saturday evening from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern at the RDT Daily Facebook and YouTube channels and rebroadcast on Sunday from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern on Progressive Voices or anytime on demand on the Progressive Voices app.